Hello and welcome, my name is Parky and today we're going to be doing another Tankard of Truth. Now for those of you who don't know what this is, this is basically our Q&A for my channel. And if the questions are anything like last time, then this is going to be a very interesting episode. I think a few flame wars started about the war and things like that after last time. I don't know why, it's, you know, whatever, it's just, I think it's just how YouTube works in general. But the first question today on the Tankard of Truth, and I have to show you this so you actually know the Tankard is still here and alive is from Warrior Wacko. Hello Warrior Wacko. Have you ever got bored of playing Spore or any other game during a playthrough? Now, this is actually a really interesting thing because I, I think about this quite regularly when I'm playing games for my channel. Most of the time I don't get bored. I think I only get bored if you guys don't enjoy watching it. Because obviously one of the biggest satisfying like things that I get out of YouTube is that I enjoy making content that people actually want to watch. So if people don't enjoy what I'm doing, then I kind of get a bit, like, downheartened at it, which I'm sure anyone would. It comes to a point where, like, you've got to weigh up your enjoyment personally of a game and whether you should be still playing it in a lengthy series on your channel, because obviously, at the end of the day, you kind of got to think of it from sort of like a viewpoint, a viewer point, as well as your own enjoyment, which sounds weird because you'd think it'd be fully your enjoyment. And it is most of the time but in very specific cases it isn't. The next question from the Tankard of Truth is going to be this one, if I can really smoothly open it, from Miracle Gamer. Hello Miracle Gamer, how are you today? Where did you get the idea from the Tankard of Truth? Well, the Tankard of Truth, I basically just wanted to do a Q&A on my channel. Uh, the Tankard just sort of happened in the first episode. I just needed a place to keep all my questions because I knew I wanted to like pull them out of something. And really, I didn't have anything else at hand. I just had this big, like, pewter tankard. So, that's what I went with. And thus, the tankard of truth was born. Very exciting tale. The next question! God, we're going through these. That was a very quick one. There wasn't really much to say about that. Yeah, just Q&A. And I needed stuff. <laughs> Why has Radiator Santa switched spots every episode? That's from Beanie39. Radiator Santa is there, by the way, in case you don't know. He is basically, he appears in all of my videos that I use face cam on. Mostly because I left him over from Christmas and never put him away and then it became a bit of a thing in my face cam. But yeah, the reason he keeps changing is because he is like very uncomfortable. I mean, would you be comfortable sat like on a radiator with your arms stretched out all the time? It's not a very comfy place. The more realistic reason is that I keep switching his position because I like to not have him looking the same in all my videos. It's got to that point, I am now that sad that I am, like, switching the position of a of magnetic Santa in the background for your entertainment. It's you that's making me do it. It's not me. I'm blaming you. The next question is from P. Koala. Can you play any console games for 2015? Console gaming is something that I love doing, and you might have noticed that most of the games I play on my channel are actually on the PC. The main reason for that is that it's a lot easier to record. One of the other major reasons I don't record on console at the moment is because I think it'd be fair to say that it's quite expensive in order to buy the equipment to actually do it, and I don't have the money. Frankly, my channel does not make enough money to afford really expensive like recording equipment and stuff like that. I just can't do it. And also, most of the games that are on console, you can play on the PC anyway. So if I were to play those sort of games, then I'd probably do it on the PC, because they're going to be cheaper. And also, sometimes I prefer playing with the keyboard and mouse. As I mentioned before, in my free time, I spend a lot of time playing console games, mostly because I like to detach myself from my computer, because I'm on this most of the day. It's a big kerfuffle to record them. And also, I don't really know whether people are that interested. Because, realistically, the only games that people would want to see on the console are the console exclusives. And, really, like, those are the sort of games where you have to do, like, a full playthrough of them. And I'm trying to keep away, I know it doesn't seem like it, I'm trying to keep away from doing, like, really long, committed playthroughs of games, because I don't think they maintain views very well. With the exception of a few, like, Spore. But yeah, I'm trying to avoid that sort of thing. The next question, from the Tankard of Truth! Tank, Tankard of Truth! Alright, Gollum, why are you here? We, it's from One Piece fan. Will you ever play Total War, or do you want to? Uh, Total War is actually a game series that I really love. Specifically, you mentioned Rome Total War. Um, Rome Total War I used to play all the time. It was like, one of the first games that I got into like the Total War franchise with. Uh, whether I'd play it on my channel, I don't think I would. Again, mostly because I think it's one of those sort of genres that people... A sp there's a very specific audience in that genre. It's quite a niche genre for people to watch. 
And from experience, I find it's a sort of game that, unless you're really good at it and that's all you do on your channel, you're very tailored towards that sort of audience, then people ain't going to watch it. And if they do, they're not going to enjoy it because you're going to be rubbish at it. And I would definitely be not very good at it. Actually, that's a lie. I'm quite good at those games. But I don't think I'd want you guys watching me playing them still. Because <laughs> I'd be pretty rubbish in your mind, I'm sure. In my mind, I'm good. In everyone else's, I'm sort of very shit. But whatever. And also, again, on the sort of theme of they would require quite long series to play through. I mean, it's quite a sort of slow strategy game. And again, I'm just trying to like play games that I can edit a bit more to keep them entertaining, cutting out all that boring stuff. So maybe playing a game like that wouldn't be very good suited. It wouldn't be very well suited to me. The next question from the Tankard of Truth, oh my god, that was loud, is from Carly Karma. How did you and Mrs. Parky meet? Now, for those of you who don't know, Mrs. Parky is obviously not my wife. I mentioned this last time. She's uh, my girlfriend, but she's appeared in quite a few videos that I've done. Oh, quite a few, maybe like six? It's not very many, actually, is it, considering I've almost got a thousand videos on my channel. However, um, we met at university. We were in the same halls in the first year. If you don't know anything about university, halls are basically the sort of accommodation blocks that you all stay in in your first and maybe second year. So yeah, we met there, and we're pretty much the only two sane people in our flat. We had a flat of ten people, and... We didn't get on very no one got on very well in our first year out of those ten people, apart from me and Mrs. Parky. So we sort of stuck together and then it went from there. The next question is from Jason Farmer. Pepsi or Coke? This might shock a lot of you, but I actually don't like fizzy drinks. You might think, oh my god, you're so boring. But actually, I just never really had them when I was younger. And it wasn't like my parents didn't give them to me. I just didn't really like them when I was a child. Which, you know, I know most people do, but some of us don't. And, yeah, I just suppose because I never really drank them when I was younger, I never got into the habit of enjoying them. And also, I just don't like the feeling of the fizziness on my mouth. <laughs> Which is a very strange way of saying it. But, yeah, I think, yeah, neither. If I were to choose one, again, if you force me into choosing one, I don't know. Because I don't really have enough experience of drinking either to give you a proper answer on that. Okay, the next question today is from Joseph Makita. I think we've had a question from you before. Have you ever thought of playing classic games on your channel? Now, from classic games, I assume you mean things like... Maybe of the sort of era of, like, Doom, the original Doom and Wolfenstein. That's what I think of when I say classic games. Maybe you mean just, like, older games, like Zoo Tycoon and uh, stuff like that. I have tried. Uh, a very long time ago, I, I played a couple of games. I played Morrowind. And also I played uh, Might and Magic, whatever that one was called. Might and Magic 3? I can't remember what the actual name of it was. But yeah, I played a couple of those. And to be honest, again, it's quite a niche thing. It's kind of along the lines of those sort of RTS games like Total War, where unless you're doing it, unless you're a channel specifically tailored to that, I think there's such a niche market on, on YouTube that maybe it's a bit difficult for me to break into. I know I'm a bit of a variety channel, so I don't sort of do one specific thing. And I've always, like, uh, prided myself on the fact that I'd never sort of backed myself into a corner with, like... You know, when Minecraft came out, a load of people on YouTube just jumped on the Minecraft bandwagon. There's, like, th hundreds of thousands of Minecraft channels that literally just do Minecraft. And now that Minecraft is dying a bit, which it is... I'm sorry if you're a Minecraft fan. I'm a massive Minecraft fan, but it is dying down. Especially on YouTube. It's not as popular now. All of those channels that back themselves into that niche where people just specifically subscribe for Minecraft and now having problems because they've never done anything else aside from that and people just won't watch it. What was I even talking about? Oh yeah, okay, so <laughs> if you back yourself into a specific thing, it can be very good, but it also can be very bad. This still isn't related to the question at all, is it? I think what I'm trying to say here is that I don't think it'd be a very good idea. I'm going to leave it as that, because I don't really know how else to describe what I'm trying to say in my brain. That's, an, that's a problem I often have with my brain. I just can't put things from here into, like, words that people understand. So that's why I scream at video games all day, because at least I can sort of do something with my mind. Okay, so this is going to be the final question from the Tangled of Truth today. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. Not dissing you if you've had a question in today's episode. I wasn't saying they're rubbish. But this one, I feel, is, like, going to be particularly good. Okay, so it's from Canaanite. Coke or Pepsi? 
This is more like three questions, but we've already had one of them, so we can kind of stroke that off. Coke or Pepsi? iPhone or Android? Boxes or briefs? Coffee or tea? That's actually four questions. Well, Coke and Pepsi, as I said, I haven't drunk either of them, so that's one done. iPhone or Android? Now, I think this is a sort of big sort of argument point again with a lot of people. Personally, and I'm going to explain why, I prefer iPhones. And that is only because, I, I will fully admit, a lot of Android phones are absolutely brilliant. They're just as good. Maybe. But my argument is that because I have had an iPhone for about five years that all of the apps and stuff that I need and am used to using that I've stored all my information on and I use on a daily basis are on the iPhone because I've built that up over five years. And so even if like I saw an Android phone that was really good, I'd probably struggle moving over to it because I would have literally all of my information lost and all of the stuff that I'd set up would be lost. So yeah, I think that's maybe a major reason why I've stuck with an iPhone. And also I think they're very pretty. And also, even though they're horrifically expensive, I feel happy when I use it. Which, I can't say I've felt happy when I've used some other phones. Like Mrs. Parky has an Android phone, and I don't really like it that much. She'll probably hate me for saying that. Boxes or briefs is another one. Uh, boxes, I mean, do we need further explanation? Coffee or tea? I'm a tea drinker personally, I drink a lot of tea. Uh, I enjoy it, it relaxes me. I'm English, you know, I have to drink a shit ton of tea and else I'll die. So, I don't know, I think coffee is one of those things that I find annoyingly pretentious. I think it's fine if you're like a normal person and you just go and have like a latte or something. But I find like the whole sort of modern social mentality of going into like expensive coffee shops and buying like and ordering just like a ridiculous coffee and then people getting pissy if it's not right and it's just like... Just have a fucking cup of tea, you know? It's not that difficult. English breakfast? I don't even care what it is. As long as it's not Earl Grey. I don't really like green or red tea. Just, just you know, plain old tea is good. I am sorry if you like your expensive coffees. I am not one of those people. Okay, well, this seems like a good place to leave today's episode. If you enjoyed the questions that have been answered and want to give any feedback on my answers, which I'm sure you will, be sure to leave comments below. Also, leave your questions for next time to get your questions into the Tangent of Truth. All you need to do is leave a comment. And also, if you want, you can leave a comment on my Facebook group, which is linked in the description below, where I communicate with you guys on a daily basis anyway, and you can see loads of behind-the-scenes stuff and other stuff. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Awkward, awkward goodbye. Awkward. Awkward.